we responded to a call from NASPA to be a, a remote site, and that's what brought the second annual simulation challenge to UVA this year. Working with this NASPA level simulation uh, game, the simulation challenge, is just absolutely consistent with what UVA and the Frank Batten School are trying to achieve here in our own curriculum. It makes just a natural for us to be involved in this. The students love it and they love doing it and it has a real impact on their enthusiasm for uh, education, for what they're doing in, in, in their classrooms back when they go back from the competition. So we believe in contextual learning, we believe in simulation as a way of uh, advancing students' understanding. But to watch what a great time they have, they get into it. We love that. We love that the students get to meet each other and they go back to their schools as ambassadors and missionaries for simulation and for these kinds of events. Dealing with something as complex as climate change, which touches so many different levers, that it's just uh, understanding how it all fits together, and which is really great because you have everyone from different backgrounds who can kind of add their own ideas on how things work together. It's really, it's eye-opening as well because putting yourself in the other person's shoes and having that type of pressure on you to evolve and get away from your traditional economic base is been really fun and really interesting experience. When you're really looking at something really specific, like how do I get the global emissions to, to work out to a certain temperature, and then the kind of softer side, how do I get it to be politically feasible, it's kind of meshing those two, which I haven't had as much experience with in, in simulation, so it's really nice. So it's exciting in the sense that I'm again in the classroom experience with other students and negotiating things and interacting um, with other minds. That's kind of an invigorating experience for me.